Hey everyone and welcome back for another deep dive. This time we're heading into the wild world of military aviation. Ooh, yeah. With one of Russia's most advanced fighter jets, the Sukhoi Su-57. I am ready. We've got some awesome source material lined up to really dissect this thing and figure out what makes it such a formidable force. I mean, we're talking stealth capabilities, mm -hmm. crazy maneuverability. Absolutely. And how it stacks up against rivals like the F-22 and the J-20. Definitely a worthy adversary. I think this is going to be a fascinating deep dive. Oh, for sure. So let's get right to it. Now, the Su-57 was developed by Sukhoi, yeah. which is a subsidiary of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation. Mm -hmm. And... You know, they had a really ambitious goal in mind when they set out to create this. Yeah, what was that? They wanted a fighter that could dominate the skies. Air superiority. Yeah, exactly, air right. superiority. Mm -hmm. But also be able to strike ground targets effectively. Oh, wow. So a true multi-role fighter. Yeah, like a jack of all trades in the fighter jet world. That's a tall order. It is. But it seems like they've managed to pull it off. Seems that way, yeah. One of the things that really stands out to me is the stealth technology. Ah, yes. The art of disappearing. Can you break it down for us a little bit, like, what makes the Su-57 so elusive to radar? Sure. So the Su-57 utilizes a bunch of different stealth features. Primarily, it's designed to minimize its radar cross-section. Okay, so like reducing its reflection on a radar screen? Exactly. It's like mm -hmm. shrinking its radar signature. And they do this through a combination of things. They use radar-absorbing materials oh, and says... also carefully sculpted angles on the aircraft's body. So it's deflecting those radar waves away. Exactly. It's all about pouncing those waves away from the enemy. That's pretty clever. Yeah, it is. I also read about its internal weapon. Bay. Right. That's another key element. By storing its weapons internally, the Su-57 maintains a smooth, uninterrupted profile, which further reduces its radar signature. So it's like a sneaky surprise. Exactly. It's hiding its firepower until the last moment. I like it. Yeah. But even with stealth, you know, in a real <laughs> dogfight, sometimes you got to be able to outmaneuver your opponent. Oh, absolutely. And that's where I think the Su-57 super maneuverability comes yeah, in. Yeah, a real game changer. Yeah, like how does it even work? Well, the key is thrust vectoring engines. Okay, what are thrust vectoring engines? Think of it like this. They're basically super flexible nozzles on the engines that allow the pilot to direct the engine's thrust in different directions. Wow, so it can like turn on a dime basically. Pretty much, yeah. It can make incredibly sharp turns and maneuvers, things that would be impossible for conventional aircraft. That's got to be a huge advantage in combat. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially in close-range dogfights. So we've got self, we've got agility. What about firepower? Ah, yes. Let's talk about the teeth of this beast. What? The Su-57 packs a serious punch. It's got a diverse arsenal of weapons tailored for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground engagements. Really? Oh, yeah. What kind of stuff are we talking about? Well, it can carry a variety of air-to-air -air missiles for taking out enemy aircraft. It's also got air-to-surface missiles for precision strikes on ground targets. So it can hit specific locations. Exact, precise hits. And then it's also got guided bombs for yeah. even greater accuracy. Wow, so they're not just dropping bombs, they're guiding them in. Precisely, they can hit a target with pinpoint accuracy. That's impressive. And of course, no fighter jet would be complete without a good old-fashioned auto cannon. Of course. Does it have one? Absolutely, a trusty 30 millimeter auto cannon. So it's got the big guns for close encounters too. You bet it's got everything it needs to handle a wide range of threats. So in a given situation, would they like favor one weapon system over another? Oh yeah, definitely. The choice of weapon totally depends on the specific mission and the target. For example, if they're engaging enemy fighters at long range, they're probably going to use those advanced air-to-air -air missiles. Makes sense. But if they need to hit a heavily defended ground target, they might opt for the guided bombs. Right, because they need that precision. Exactly. It sounds like the Su-57 is a real powerhouse. But earlier you mentioned, it's not just about brute force. No, it's not. The Su-57's avionics, or its brain, are just as advanced. They are state-of-the-art. What are some of the things that make its systems stand out? Well, the Su-57 is loaded with cutting-edge sensors, electronic warfare systems, and network-centric warfare capabilities. Okay, break that down for me. Sure. So it's not just gathering information through its own sensors. It's also acting as a node on a network, yeah. sharing real-time data with other friendly forces. So they can coordinate attacks. Exactly. They have enhanced situational awareness. So it's like a flying data center. That's a great way to put it. Constantly gathering and sharing information. 
to stay one step ahead of the enemy. Precisely. And speaking of staying ahead, yeah. we can't forget about the engine. Ah, uh, yes, the heart of the beast. So the Su-57 currently uses the AL-41 F1 engine. It does. But there's an upgrade on the horizon. There is. The Isdel A30. Oh, yeah, that's the one to watch. What kind of improvements are we expecting to see from this new engine? Well, for one, it's going to provide way more thrust. So more speed. More speed, more power. And the other big thing is fuel efficiency. Oh, wow, so it can go farther. Farther and faster. Yeah. But what's really groundbreaking is its advanced design. Like, what do you mean? They're using new materials and technologies, mm. including a higher thrust-to-weight ratio and improved cooling systems. So it's lighter and more efficient. Exactly. That's a serious upgrade. It is. Let's talk a little bit about the Su-57's journey to the skies. All right. When was it first introduced? Well, the Su-57 was first unveiled back in 2010. Okay. And then it underwent years of testing. Extensive testing. And refinement before it officially entered service with the Russian Air Force in 2020. Right. Has it seen any real-world action? It has. They had a limited combat deployment in Syria. Oh, wow. So they were actually putting it through its paces. Exactly. Getting that real world experience. That's invaluable. It is. Now, speaking of real world experience, how does the Su-57 stack up against some of its rivals on the global stage? Ah, uh, the big question. Everyone wants to know. Yeah, like how does it compare to the American F-22, the F-35, or even China's J-20? It's tough to say for sure because each aircraft is designed with different priorities in mind. Right. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses. Exactly. But I think one thing that sets the Su-57 apart is its emphasis on super maneuverability. So while other fifth generation fighters are prioritizing stealth, the Su-57 is trying to find that balance between stealth and exceptional agility in close range combat. Yeah, it is a different approach. That's really interesting. It is. So to sum it all up, the Su-57 brings a really unique blend of capabilities to the table. And it does. It's got stealth, maneuverability, firepower, and those advanced avionics, making it a real contender in modern warfare. It's a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. And as the Su-57 continues to evolve mm -hmm. and be deployed, it's definitely going to play a significant role in shaping the future of air combat. Without about it. And it really makes you think, how might the balance of power shift in the coming yep. years with all these advancements in technology? That's the big question, isn't it? It is. And for you listening out there, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to learn hmm. about the Su-57 and the fascinating world of military aviation. It's a rabbit hole for sure. It is. So we encourage you to keep digging, keep exploring. Yeah. And until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.